What's up, you guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so the Prime card went down last night. We had KSI versus Tommy Fury in the main event. Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis in the co-main event. What was supposed to be one of the most highly anticipated influencer boxing events of the year really didn't deliver. I'm not impressed by your performance. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, listen. I had fun watching the prelims. I even enjoyed some of the fights on the main card too. They're doing tag team matches. They're doing these promos for influencer fights better than traditional boxing does. It's crazy how they're leveraging social media to do it. Some of the promo did make it feel like it was a few personal matchups. I'm curious to see how much attention this card generated, despite the main event and co-main event really not being as exciting as we all thought it would be. I don't care about that I mean, that promo between Logan and Dylan, it got really ugly. It got really personal. So, I... At least for me, I thought I was going to see a fight where at the end of it, both of them were huffing and puffing, bleeding, cut open. And it was honestly the total opposite. I want my money back. But anyways, I wanted to make this video so we can talk about the aftermath and what happened after both of the fights. Because a lot happened. A lot cracked me the fuck up, if I'm honest. And it kind of made me excited for what's to come. If you're one of those fans that just takes these events seriously and you think you're going to be like watching a Canelo fight, like, you know, at some point, you got to stop having those expectations because you're, you're never going to get that. But if you really lean into the entertainment aspect of it, maybe you're smoking a little something and you're drinking a little something, you know, you could really enjoy it. That rematch between Dean the Great and Waleed Sharks, that was actually a fun one. I was shocked. I really enjoyed it. Probably the fight of the night for me. Aside from the slim knockout over Salt Poppy, that was another fun one. But anyways, a lot went down. Let's start with Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. So the fight really wasn't a fight, but it did turn into WWE real quick. We saw the Royal Rumble on Misfits Boxing, the prime card. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, it was such a lackluster fight considering the hype and everything that went into it. It really started to get interesting when all the security guards came in. You know, after that, in the post-fight interview, we saw Logan do this. And then he called out Rey Mysterio. And I want that U.S. title. It looks like he's going after the United States Championship. Honestly, I thought it was genius. I thought it was a perfect way to integrate him back into the WWE after this fight. And, you know, I, personally, I think it's about time that he claims a title. He's been showing out every single time in the WWE. He's perfect for it, so... I hope we see more of Logan in the WWE, less of him boxing, but as we know, he still wants to do both. As he continued in his post-fight interview, I thought it was funny that he said, Baby, I love you so much from my heart and soul. I can't wait to start a family with you. Only because of the buildup and, and everything that we now know. But anyways, he proceeds to call out Conor McGregor. Says if Conor wants it, come get it. Come avenge his boy's loss. Of course, Conor's watching because he had... <laughs> Just listen to this. I was not entertained! <laughs> I was not entertained, what? Oh, I was impressed. Good shots. Need to believe in his little shots more and more and let them go. Some of them were all right. Some of them ones he was throwing were all right, yeah? He just needed to let them go a little bit more. What's your man do anyway? Didn't even wobble them. Didn't even hurt them. You little fool, you are, you were in the dark spot. Guess what, mate? You're back in the dark spot now. Yeah, back into the locker room which I won. Thinking of all this shit that that thing's that they're going through, lads, yeah? You're still in the dark spot, bro, yeah? You done nothing. You done nothing, lads, yeah? You up the crew. <laughs> One thing about Connor, when the whole world thinks the fight's trash, he's gonna be impressed by it. Yeah, and I tell you what, and I tell you what, it was better than Nate Diaz doing anyway, yeah? That was a show, yeah, yep, yep. Well, it looks like Connor's willing to fight on OnlyFans. So there's that. Before we move on to the main event, I think it's worth highlighting this tweet right here. I think it's time to make Ben Davis versus Dylan Danis next. And we also have to acknowledge the fact that the commentators were just so damn biased. It was too funny. It really did seem like they just wanted to trash Dylan at all costs. Well deserved, but you know, whatever. Anyways, we go on to the main event. And what I thought was funny was Connor reacting to KSI's entrance. KSI comes out in a Lambo. Connor's on his Lambo, watching the fights, feeling nice. He has a honey in the whip. She's asking, who's the best? And he's like, I'm the best, baby. 
Yo, this video is hilarious. Check this out. So you who is the best? Oh, I'm the best, baby. And there's a Lambo car. And this is a Lambo yacht, yeah? Gigsy in the house. London Shoe in the house. The beauty's Robin the living in the house. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, all, he's in the Lambo. Whip, I'm in the Lambo. Yeah, yeah. With the good stuff, yeah. Then he reacts to Toppy Fury's entrance. And as you can hear, he's having a great night. Oh, I'm having a tremendous evening. I hope he's all having a great one, yeah? Oh, the thriller! Fair play to all these donkeys, yeah? They're all right in my book, every one of them, yeah? I tell you what, strive for world titles, yeah? Because this shit's here today, can't they, matter. But I'll have a little gear on a Saturday night with this new stout, yeah? Four Jordans, proper 12, you're now the gig. Four time world champion, double belts, double yachts. WB fucking yachts, yeah? So handsome. Mm -hmm. that. It looks like if he's gonna return to boxing, he wants a KSI matchup. Part of me thinks it's because of KSI's fighting stance when he was fighting Tommy. The other reason, I think he's just trying to, like, troll the Paul brothers in a way. Like, you're not going to get the red panty night. I'm going to give it to KSI, <laughs> especially because it's Jake's rival. But that's besides the point. Uh, I thought it was interesting that he wants KSI. But anyways, despite it being a shit show, I mean, I had fun watching it. The fights were a little boring towards the, the end. The ones that we all wanted to watch didn't really live up to it. But I did enjoy the lead up to it, some of the fights on the main card as well. Of course, the very next morning, you have McGregor tweeting, what a show, brother. Well done. The world's excited for what's next. I'm not too sure about that. Obviously, Logan Paul took to social media. Not a big fan of Dylan. Dylan is really soaking in the fact that he's a jiu-jitsu guy and he lasted with Logan Paul, but Logan Paul is not a full-time boxer, so I don't really think that's anything to be proud of. If anything, it shows that he respects Logan. He's calling out everyone who was talking ish about him in the lead-up. He even trolled Nate Diaz a bit. But apparently the UFC's next. And I'm like, what? Like, that's delusion. <laughs> Rey Mysterio even responded. And Sugar would rather watch John Fury fight than the main event. I have to agree. We're fighting, man. No. My son, I'll Go fight on. him now, and I'll fight anyone in the building. No! Let's get a fucking ball rolling. Let me know what you guys think. What did you think of the ending of Logan Paul versus Dylan Danis? Did you think Tommy Fury beat KSI? Let us know in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.